our year five, here is your third lesson on memorial sacrifice. So, so far we've looked at what memories are and the exodus and how that links to memorial sacrifice. Today we're going to be looking at the Last Supper. So, have a read of this page here and then I want you to um, pause and have a think about what the Last Supper was. On the blog there's also a video that shows you what the Last Supper is. Here's Luke's scripture. So Luke said, Then Jesus took a cup, gave thanks to God, and said, Take this and share it among yourselves. I tell you that from now on, I will not drink this wine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a piece of bread, gave thanks to God, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given to you. Do this in memory of me. In the same way, he gave them the cup after the supper, saying, This is the cup, that this cup is God's new covenant, sealed with my blood, which is poured out for you. So this is Luke's version of what happened at the Last Supper. Now on this slide here, if you have a pause and have a read, it mentions the um, Exodus and how that links to Passover. So pause now and have a read. Okay, here are some questions for you to think about. What was different about the Last Supper and a normal celebration of Passover? Pause and have a think. Do you think the disciples understood what Jesus said and did at the time, or only when they look back on what happened and why would that be? So did they understand why Jesus was breaking the bread and blessing it and blessing the wine? Why would they have not have known maybe? What do you think the significance was of Jesus breaking the bread? Pause and have a think. What do you think Jesus meant when he said his blood would be poured out for them? What event happened after the Last Supper? Pause and have a think. And finally, why do you think Jesus wanted to leave this kind of memory with his disciples? Again, think about the events that unfolded after the Last Supper and try and link it maybe to the Eucharist now. Pause and have a think. Okay, here is your task. So, you are going to create a watercolour or maybe an oil pastel, a sketch. It could be using crayon sculpt tips. I need you to make a piece of artwork that um, shows the Last Supper. There are two um, versions below for you to have a look at. After you've done your, um, your artwork, I want you to annotate this by making comparisons between the scripture from Luke on slide four and the two artists below. So what's the same in the scripture and the artist's impression? What's different? Maybe Luke includes details that the image doesn't, and maybe the images include details that Luke leaves out. Do we know who's there in Luke's scripture? Is there much detail? Do the pictures leave out lots of detail, maybe? Um, and why might they be different? Think about when these pictures would have been painted. Were they painted at the time that it actually happened, or was it after the event? And then have a challenge here. Make a link to a hymn and explain why it links to the Last Supper. So the hymn that I'm thinking of is when we sing um, during the communion reflection, and we've already had the line, do it in memory of me. Hmm, why might that link? On this page, I've given you lots of inspiration. So this um, image here, we actually have hanging up in the Jubilee room at school. This is Leonardo da Vinci's um, painting, really famous. This one I love, I love the colours and I love the simplicity of this image just here. And I use this in school normally. And this one here was just a nice modern version of the Last Supper that you might want to use. So you choose which one you're inspired by and try and recreate that for me. If you look on the blog, there's a video of the Last Supper and I have uploaded pictures from last year to show you what kind of artwork um, the current year six has got up to. You'll be really impressed. Enjoy everybody.